right, love and light, Gemini. This is going to be your weekly love reading. So you guys could be, I could be talking to somebody who is, um, well, I am, not could be, because whoever this message is for, I feel like you guys have been working a lot. This could be you working on, like, your finances. This could be you working on your career. This could be you working on a relationship. We'll see. But you're putting in some effort to something. Oh, you're, you are obsessively thinking about something. <laughs> you're obsessively thinking about something. You are cutting out what doesn't work for you, spirit. Thank you. You, you are cutting out what's not working for you anymore, period, point blank. Queen of Swords, King of Swords energy. I want to say King of Swords. So you could be like a divine masculine, male or female. You're reevaluating re something. You could be reevaluating re like relationships you have with some people, job, your career, you know, what you want to be doing right now. You're focused quite a bit. Some of y'all are working real hard. You like, you might be working overtime, you know. You're definitely putting in some effort, and you know what? Whatever effort you're putting into something, the law of attraction. What you put into it, you must get out of it. I forget which law that is, but just Google it. It's like one of the laws of karma. What you put into it, you must get out of it. And success is on the top of the deck. Okay? Literally, after I see putting in the work, evaluation, and obsession. it's You guys are getting ready to shine. Whatever it is that you're doing, you could be in the limelight, you could be getting recognition, you could be getting a new job, you could your business could be doing well if you are a business owner or you're an entrepreneur, you know, or you know, if you you work in corporate America, cool. If you don't work in corporate America and you work abroad, okay, if you're watching this video from somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Like this if this message is for you, like if you're seeing this, this message is for you. But the point is you're gonna have success. You're going to be real happy with it. Congratulations. Show me what else for the collective. Beautiful star energy. Okay. Peace. Ooh. Whatever this thing is you're getting ready to have or whatever you're doing, you're going to feel content. Peace, contentment. Spirit is rewarding you. I feel this energy. I feel like you've been stressed out lately too. You've been feeling like you might fail. You might not do this or you might not accomplish whatever this goal is or whatever this thing is that you have been working real hard. Like this is your energy of you putting in strong effort. Like I said earlier, you're reevaluating people around you, things around you. You could be like reorganizing your time or being more disciplined and tasks, daily tasks, or like your daily routine, like you're really being focused. But there is a tad bit of stress here and a tad bit of obsession here. I think this is just is because this is something that you really want. You know, you might also need to just say, hey, you know what? If this is taking up too much of my valuable time, I don't, am I, is this really giving me, getting me closer to the finish line? You know what I mean? Is this really getting me where I want to be? You could be spending less time with friends and focus on this. Okay, thank you, spirit. Hold on. <clears throat> Looks like there's somebody here that wants to communicate with you. However, I'm going to get back to that. Okay, because you're seeing something in a different way. I feel like you're realizing what you need to do or what you need to do to like lessen the stress and, and keep a good grounded balance here. You're discovering that. So good for you. Show me what else here for the collective. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> here's that soulmate that wants to a divine connection. Either you have a new divine connection coming in or this is somebody you know that wants to communicate. That's having some sort of realization and they were deceptive with you in the past. Okay. Decisions, decisions. But somebody's getting some clarity and having an awakening. I'm telling you that now, okay? All right. Thank you, spirit. Okay, there's a strong need for you guys to get really organized or disciplined. 
okay. All right, that was a, a beautiful message. Let's see what's going on. In, oh, it's itchy. Let's see what's going on in love for you. Beautiful messages. It was nice to not be talking about love for like a hot second. I'm good to see that's the energy you guys. Ooh, Relisha X came out. <sighs> Didn't we just talk about somebody <clears throat> from the past? This is somebody you have. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. There's a decision that you're going to need to make. The decision could be in between a past person and a new person looks like, okay, you need to make, you're going to have to make a decision. There's a past person that you're going to, that deceived you. Okay. And then there's a new person. Okay. Now it's, de it's definitely possible for the past person to be a soulmate. There is some attachment to this person. Ooh, this is coming in so... This is coming soon, Collective. Deception came out again in a totally different day. So, this might be like, you know, remember when I said you're going to have a, dec a decision, right? Decision. Wait, can y'all see that? Uh, okay. Decision. The decision is, do I let go of this ex? Or this soulmate, this divine counterpart, right? There might have been a lot of chemistry between you and this other person that caused some form of deception. Ooh. Somebody's going to talk. Remember I told you earlier somebody wants to talk? Where's that card at? Communication and look at what I see. On the bottom of the deck. Can you see? Heart to, having a heart to heart conversation. <laughs> Sorry. Heart to heart conversation, commu communicate, and very soon. So I just like to show you all the cards because when I change the angle up, you can't see them. I want you to know what I'm talking about. Somebody wants to reconcile. Yeah, this could be somebody that was working on their, their career or their finances, or this is you focused on that, right? Because we did see you have been putting in the work, doing something here. I feel like... You've been real busy. Hold on, I dropped a card. I feel like you guys have been real busy. You have goals. There are things you want to... Yeah, you've been busy. You have goals. There are things, other things that you've been focused on. Love yourself first. Reevaluating. Trying to relieve the stress. Resolving your uh, inner conflict. And when I say resolving your inner conflict, like I mean resolving inner conflict like within yourself. You know, for whatever reason, like, or with other people or just letting people go, period. Cut, cutting some things out that just don't serve you anymore and finding your peace. Whoever this new person is, though, that you're going to have to make a decision. Yeah, you've been healing. You've been healing, forgiving, releasing the past. Spirit, is, there's a strong message here for you to release the past and free yourself, okay? So you can have your peace. If you're already doing this, that's good. You're moving in the right direction. If you're not doing this, this is going to be like, you're going to be on a pathway to actually doing this. And, and you know, because you're taking control of your life. You're taking control of your life. That's just what it is. And good for you, you know, because it looks like you're going to be real successful at it if you keep it up. You know what I mean? You're learning this lesson. Forgiving people, you know, reorganizing, setting a discipline schedule, really focusing on yourself and what you need. Show me what else. Okay. That's too many, Spirit. Thank you. Show me what else for the collective. Give me one card at a time. Thank you. Strength. Having the strength to do what you need to do for yourself. Having the confidence to do what you need to do for yourself. You could be a Leo. Somebody else could be a Leo. You love your Apple Watch, don't you? Some of, I'm talking to a student for some of you guys. <clears throat> this could also be you holding back. Learning to hold back from things that just... You know what? I feel like this is your energy. Where you're like, you know what? I've learned a valuable lesson. <clears throat> I've learned a lot about people. Hmm. Yeah. 
healing from heartbreak, healing your own inner child. Like you're learning quite a bit, Spirit. That's too many. Thank you. One at a time. Thank you. Yeah, four of swords. You four of swords in reverse. I haven't seen the four of swords come out in reverse in a really long time. All right, you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the four of swords is about. Remember, I talked about stress. You working real hard. Like spirit wants you to get some more rest, or you could be having trouble sleeping. I think I don't know who's up late at night working or studying. Okay. You need to get some rest. There's that deception. So y'all are taking a break from any connections or anybody that puts you in a third party situation. There's that deception. Seven of Swords. I mean, it's here three times, three different decks. Third party situation. Whoever this past person was, they put you in a third party situation. But look at the energy you're sitting in. This is the energy you're sitting in. Beautiful. Birthing new things, success, abundance. You know, the Empress is the divine feminine here who the Empress embodies energy of someone who can create magic, create resources, build relationships with people. They're very kind. They're very compassionate. They're very loving. Um, they're very nurturing. They're very attractive. They have good energy. They're beautiful inside and out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you're not dealing with anybody that's playing. That's for sure. And you release people who didn't make any effort in the past. Okay. Let's see what else. Show me what else for the collective. I don't know what I'm going to name this reading. This is good though. I love this energy for you guys. Dang, none of these cards are in reverse. The wheel is at the bottom of the deck, but these two cards just came out in reverse. This is a major change in your life right now. I feel like you guys are going through, like, whoever I'm talking to, you're going through a transition. The wheel is about success. It's about completion. It's about travel, you know, maybe adventure. It's about completing a cycle. Judgment in reverse, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> There are a lot of major arcana cards here, by the way. Somebody's holding on to something, though. You got to release whatever it is that you need to release, and it looks like it's looking like the past. Hmm. Show me more. There's also somebody in your energy who save your money to find a way to create a plan to save yourself some more money or like invest your money into something else okay because i feel like you're being called to do that show me more thank you the six of cups this past person is holding on to you real tight by the way okay thank you spirit soulmate card divine counterpart card Hold on a minute. I'm going to show you. Remember? Ah, okay. <laughs> Soulmate card. Div divine counterpart card. So, but I do sense that there's a past person thinking about the past. Like, ooh, look at this. You're healing. Healing. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This past person who was deceptive could have been an Aquarius. Um, but, <clears throat> listen. Listen. The Seven of Pentacles is here, which is about waiting and investing and in, like plant the seed and like waiting for it to grow. Somebody's willing to put in the time, energy and effort into something to making it grow. So after you go through all this other stuff, look at this energy that you have, this new person. Somebody who a, a connection that's healing and I do sense that this is still you healing. This is you healing. You got a soulmate coming in. You got somebody who wants to put in the time, energy, and effort into something. You are thinking about the past. You might be thinking about double back into the past. Maybe that's why you have a decision to make here. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Show me more. So we have Aquarius energy here. We have Leo energy here. We have Scorpio energy. 
The wheel popped out again. <laughs> Spirit said, you're completing cycles. This is good. You might. I don't know if you're going back. I don't know if you're going back. You're about. There's There's going to be a reason for you to celebrate here too. By the way, I'm telling y'all, y'all are like leveling up when it comes to like money, career, or whatever it is. There's that equal give and take. Whoever this new person is, they're going to want to hang out, have a good time, and they're going to be like somebody who's a gift giver. They want to give to you equal give and take. But I'm telling y'all, y'all are moving on from anything, anybody that puts you in a third party situation. And I feel like that five person did. Show me more. Ooh, you're not going to want to work it out with them. The Eight of Pentacles just came out in reverse. You're not taking this. And you're not... You're looking at a situation. You're going to be looking at this like, this is good. Because I feel like when this comes towards you, you're going to know. And you're going to be like, oh, this looks familiar. This looks like the same old cycle. And that cycle is, you know, with this past person. Or with another, a new, this could be a new energy that's putting you, trying to put you in the same um, you know, situation. If it is new or or past, you're gonna be like, oh, I recognize that. No, I'm good. I don't want to work on that. If it's a past person, you're gonna be looking at the situation like, do I really want to go through this again? They're gonna want to talk to you though. They want to talk. They're coming back to communicate. I just saw the page of wands. Oh, but you might you might be like, nah, don't come over here. Protecting your energy, setting boundaries, standing in your strength, and then boom, that brings in this new love. This this past person is going to want to come in and say, hey, I want to reconcile, but you're going to be like, no, don't come near me. <clears throat> yep, because I'm healing. I want something balanced. Sagittarius energy, temperance. Yeah. You seriously, you're gonna be like, no, don't come near me because I'm healing. Make sure y'all can see this. Cause I'm healing. Very, very healing, loving energy, new energy too. Like I said, when you when you say no, I'm not gonna be dealing with this third party stuff or whatever the situation was, and no, I don't want to work on it. This new person could be a twin. <clears throat> or somebody you marry. Four of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Show me what else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, somebody that you can work with. It could be a Capricorn or an Earth sign. Three of Pentacles. This is going to be somebody who, like I said. Yeah. Hmm. I like this for you guys. Okay. And this Nine of Swords. Was really, I'm supposed to take this in reverse. This came out in reverse. I picked it up the, the other way. No more stress, okay? But the past person could be losing stress over you. Okay, let's see what's... Okay, the world. The world. So we have the world, the wheel, which is good fortune, by the way. Um, and the completion of the cycle. And then we had... Look at this. You had a lot of major arcana out here. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, or Scorpio is here too. But but the the wheel is good fortune and moving forward, progress, six and the in the world is success, achievement. Okay, we already know that you're going to be experiencing success and achievement anyways in your own personal life. But I feel like this past person is like coming back and sort of like they put you in they were the very they were deceptive deception came out here in like three different decks and they regret they're in this five of cups energy they could be a cancer pisces or scorpio but they like regret what they did let's see what else Yep, deception came out again in a different deck. Dude. <laughs> Whoa. Where is, like, spirit is the, jeez. 
Spirit is trying to give you a message. They want you to know. They really... I've never seen this happen in a reading ever. I want to show y'all this because I need you to get it. I need you to get it. Hold on. Where's the other one? The Seven of, seven of Swords. I know that Seven of Swords was out here. Or was it on the bottom of the deck? I don't know. Hold on. It must have been on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, Sorry. Okay. But we saw the Seven of Swords earlier. Then you know what came out with this is unconditional love and inner child. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You got a choice. There's two energies here. There's somebody who mm, who's going to offer you unconditional love. The, the connection is going to be healing. And there is somebody else who's wearing a mask. Put you in a third party. Like I said, put you in a third party situation. A third party came out. Wait, can y'all see that? And they're and they did not say they were in that five of cups energy. Now they want forgiveness, redemption, forgiveness. Man, you better go with the flow and trust your intuition when this person comes back. It's too many spirit cups. I think they and they could be an air sign. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Mm. Or you could be telepathy, so somebody feels like they're communicating with you in the 3D, or they feel like you are their twin flame, and you are their wish fulfillment, and they want to spend some time with you, and they want to talk. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> is it possible that this person, you know, is obsessively thinking... Oh, here's the earth sign. <clears throat> the new person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. If this isn't you. And then we have self-worth. Struggling with their self-worth or working on yourself. That could, I mean, I feel like and you're having a new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. Starting over. Leaving. Moving forward. Leaving behind what doesn't serve you. So remember we talk, uh, talked about. You're going to have a decision to make. You're evaluating. Reevaluating certain things. And people in your life. You could have been reevaluating this connection with this other person. You're working on yourself. You're working on your own inner demons or whatever it is. You're growing. You're in this empress energy. You, you're in this new fresh start, creating something new for you and then being successful. So this person looks like your wish fulfillment. But guess what else? You, the new person is going to see you as a wish fulfillment too. So your choice, what decision do you want? What decision do you want to make? I think you're going to realize this. Because look, we have, where is that other card? This is crazy. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. <clears throat> so we have peace. We have peace. And then we have awakening and then we have stress like you about to realize something oh your soulmate look what's on the bottom of the deck you about to realize your soulmate you you're you guys are gonna make the right decision maybe that's why all this was supposed to come out the way that it was right because sis bro I don't know who the who and what this is, but I know there's two people, two energies, and mm, 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 mm. yeah, I wanted to pull you another card from a. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I feel like this reading was really long. I'm sorry, but it was necessary. I hope it resonated for you. What else here for the collective? What else here for the collective? There's that obsessing, obsessing, <laughs> obsessive thinking, twin flame. Your twin flame could be obsessively thinking about you or this new person could be your twin flame or your twin flame was in some 
toxic energy. Okay, and this is what you yeah, and you're and this is what you're healing from, and you don't want to talk to them. You're like, no, not today. Some of y'all might even have this person on block. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck is I like you. I feel like that's a totally different energy. Yeah, it is a totally different energy. Love, I like you. But the past person, here we go again with the boat in reverse. The boat in reverse talks about like not moving on. The girl with the snake is about lies, de deception, again, um, narcissist, okay? You could have been an empath, but this person could have been a narcissist, somebody who cheated. This is somebody who you um, set boundaries with. Like I said, you were in this seven of wands energy. You set boundaries with this person. This could be a charmer. So spirit is, that's what this is. This is like a warning. Hello, spirit is like ding, ding, ding. Wait. <laughs> Message. Dang. Y'all hit the like button. I love y'all.